Hi programmers, wish you a time of happy learning with the last minute revisor. In this video, we shall write a Python program for finding minimum in a list of numbers. Let us get started. Suppose you have a list of numbers, 10, 20, 5, 30, 60, 70, 25, as you see on the screen. So I have named the list as A. There is a built-in function to find minimum in the list A. The function is min. So if I give min of the list name, that is A, I'll be getting the minimum in the list, that is 5. Now, let us explore the logic to write our own code to find minimum in a list with an example. Consider a list of six elements, 10, 50, 20, 5, 60, and 35. So as you see on the screen, uh, we have six elements and the index begins at zero and ends at five. So element at index zero is 10, element at index one is 50, index two, 20, three, five, index four, we have 60, and at index five, we have 35. So now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to assume the element at index zero as the minimum. So I'm assuming 10 here as minimum, and I'll be going through the elements in the list. So here, first I'll be checking with the element at index one. So 50 will be compared with 10. So what I do is I just check and if this element in the list is less than the minimum that I have assumed, I will update the minimum to that element in the list. So now I'm checking with 50. So 50 is not less than 10. So I'm not going to update minimum. Again, I'm moving to the next index, index two. So I have 20. 20 is not less than the assumed minimum. That is 20 is not less than 10. So I need not do anything. I'm moving to the next index. So at index three, I have five. So now here, there comes a challenge. What I have to do, I have to update this value five to the minimum now. So now I'm updating minimum as five. Now I'm continuing the travels and I'm moving to the next index, that is index four. Here I have 60, so I did not worry about it. Here I have 35. 35 is not less than 5, so I can leave it. So by this end of traversal, we would have found out the minimum value. So in general, what we did is we assumed the first element, that is element at index 0 as minimum. Then starting from element at index 1, we move to the element at index n minus 1, that n is nothing but number of elements. So here I have 6 elements and the last index would be 5. So till that I traversed and if the value in the list is less than the minimum, I would update by minimum to that value. By the end of this, we would have found out the minimum value in the list. So now let us start coding. For this, first let us get the list from user. If you're not able to understand the line, you can check out the link in the description box, how to get list from user in one line. Then I'm assuming the element at index zero as minimum and starting from index one, what I should do, I have to go till the last element. That is length of the index minus one would be that. Here, since I'm using for loop and range, I have to mention it as length of numbers. Okay, so till fifth index I have to do. If the element at that particular index, that is if numbers of index is less than the assumed minimum, what I should do? I should update the minimum as that element, that is numbers of index. So by the end of this for loop, 
the variable minimum will be containing the minimum value. So that would be five in this case. Okay, now let me run this code. Let me give the same input. 10, 50, 20, 5, 60, 35. And the output is 5.0 because I have mentioned there as float. That's it. To encourage and support this work, do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for further updates.